artist in Oklahoma City. Um, my granddad was artist, my dad was artist, and I just kind of fell into the family trade. Um, and I, I, I'm just kind of a general artist for hire. I paint with acrylics and I paint with spray paint and I airbrush and I letter things and I screen print things. I do graphic design. I just kind of do whatever I can do to stay busy and full-time chum, a kind of a dad and, and a husband and that's it. <laughs> I grew up on the northwest side of Oklahoma City, talked too much and I drew cartoons with my teachers <laughs> and that was like, that. yeah, that's definitely what I was doing. Drawing cartoons, making paper airplanes. My first studio was like uh, in Oklahoma City, just a couple miles from my house, and then I moved to the Plaza District, and I've just always been here. I think my style is super influenced by like mid-70s graphic design. Be having the opportunity of growing up in a uh, graphic design studio was uh, super awesome, so letter forms and all that I got uh, early education on, um, and then kind of deviating into like a rebellious youth with like being a little punk and graffiti and changing those letters like those traditional typography letter styles and then turning them to like yeah, with graffiti and I don't know I don't know what my style is it's influenced by screen printing and graphic design and cartoons tree and leaf was basically my doctoral degree in art like 12 years and I got to really just be hands-on in art every day around like some of the coolest musicians and artists and designers in Oklahoma City. It's just like an awesome, really great experience. I was in college for graphic design and I wasn't really figuring out what I was going to do um, and uh, I had a friend contact me about having a screen printing press that he wanted to get working. And so I just started commuting back and forth from Stillwater to Oklahoma City and we self-taught ourselves how to screen print and that was in like 2006 and then we just, I quit going to college and I just went full steam into screen printing and painting murals and having art shows and concerts in our, in our screen printing shop and um, printing shirts that were like stoked on Oklahoma and stoked on Oklahoma City and doing some non-licensed thunder gear and just all sorts of stuff and I mean it was it was an awesome 12 years um, and I shut the store down two years ago and then I just went full into like artist full-time I mean part of being an artist is fine like having clients being an artist for hire as well and I've been super lucky in Oklahoma City to have awesome clients um, like Blue Garden, like the parlor, like Mexican radio and Cafe Cacao and you know, um, so putting art on walls is just something that we, like me and a bunch of my friends decided that we were going to do and we just kind of made our name, or made a name for ourselves in installing art for commercial businesses. So businesses decided that they could really cultivate an environment in their space with a piece of art and so we get to do that every day, you know, paint windows and signs and um, sometimes we get to have like full creative freedom. Like in the parlor, I got to fully design that and paint that and they just let me do, be crazy. You know, like, hey, let's paint like a floating car in this stairwell, you know, and they're just like, yeah, sure, let's go ahead, you try it, we'll see what happens. And that's like, that's a great feeling to have when somebody wants to have a piece of your artwork like 20 by 20 in their office or whatever, like that's pretty cool to feel. I love the, the journey more than the destination whenever I'm making art and that's the truth. I really enjoy like just diving or putting like 40 or 80 or 100 hours into a piece of art and then being done with it and having like a good accomplished feeling and then turning around and like hating it <laughs> the next day. Um, but I mean, locally, I do love uh, that a lot of people have started to let me um, express some of my like just personal beliefs on the walls. Like love all thy neighbors is something that I'm super proud of. Um, it's just two hands clasping 
but it's a message that I like. You know, keep Oklahoma friendly. That's a message I, that I like. Big positive messages onto stuff. Um, but like the one in the alley, like I like painting that. It was all a dream just because it's super weird. I get to paint a friend of mine's puppet on this wall and just, it, you turn the corner in the alley and you see that puppet and you're just like, what? That doesn't make any sense at all, you know? I think a lot of people just see me as a mural painter, but I do get to take like some of the illustration, cartoons, that kind of stuff, and, and use those in graphic design elements. Um, so that's always fun, getting to do stuff with like musicians and venues like the Tower Theater. I've done a lot of stuff with the Tower Theater screen printed posters. Um, that stuff is always super special to me because I get to do a graphic design piece and then screen print it and it turns it into like a real tangible art piece. So I still love screen printing posters, but yeah, I mean, just bumming around and trying to make art, you know.